to this, Portland decriminalized hard drugs, and now you can see addicts shooting up on street corners across the city. Seattle radio talk show host Jason Rance is here to react. Jason, good morning. It's great to see you in good person. Morning. So this start started in 2020. Oregon voters voted to decriminalize hard drugs. We're talking heroin, meth, cocaine, fentanyl, and now overdose deaths in the state are at an all-time high. I think that is what you call the definition of predictable. Yeah, I mean, none of this is shocking when you decide to legalize drugs. When you decide to enable drug addicts, you, of course, are going to see more of those drug addicts basically succumb to this disease that they're dealing with. And rather than actually treat it, we see these harm reduction policies. And that's kind of the tricky language that they use, where you think that this is actually going to get someone into treatment. But all it's doing is giving the tools to the addicts to continue their addiction while not judging their addiction at all, because we want to destigmatize drug users. Except no one's talking about stigmatizing the addict. We're talking about stigmatizing the addiction yeah. because it's deadly, because it will eventually kill these people. And obviously we're seeing that in the data. And you were also telling me that this idea, despite the data that we're seeing, could spread to an area near you? Oh, yes, it can. So Washington State right now, you've got activists out in the community trying to get signatures for an initiative that goes one step further than what's going on in Oregon. Because right now, at least in Oregon, you've got a $100 civil infraction, which isn't doing anything to stop anything. However, in Washington State, if this initiative passes, it would get rid of everything. There's no civil infraction. We're basically legalizing drugs and it's following the exact same model where they promise that we're going to put funding into drug addiction treatment centers, which we need to do. But that's not really what it's about. It's about, again, giving into the harm reduction strategies. We're giving out clean needles, booty bumping kits, which is something I covered on Fox a couple of years ago. It, it is remarkable. What are booty bumping kits? So it's do basically a way. I mean, you don't really want to know, but it's basically a way to take a drug uh, rectally. Okay. Via, uh, right. the, yeah, it's very, Copy. very we'll leave it not there. fun. Well, you know, the, 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 <laughs> this is flawed logic, though, because yeah. the reason they are decriminalizing these drugs is because they, they're they saying, all right, if we um, minimize the penalty, people will feel more comfortable seeking help as Doesn't opposed happen. to going to jail. No, what's happening is that people aren't going to jail. They're also not seeking help. They are dying. If you look specifically in Oregon, out of the 16,000 or so people who had contact with police and tried to get some of the services, less than 1% went into drug treatment. It was like 0.85. That is an epic failure if the goal is to get people off drugs. Maybe that's not actually what the goal is. And I yeah. think that's what this is about. You know, we are seeing sort of a backlash against the, this progressive ideology in San Francisco of all yep. places. They just recalled Chase and Boudin, but that's one man. And it's really hard to kill an ideology. Do you think that this is just a moment in time or will we eventually see this soft on crime ideology go by the wayside? We're very clearly starting to see the momentum on the right side of this issue. And when you talk to San Franciscans, they're saying that as well. Seattle, for the first time, in some 30 years, put in place a Republican city attorney who said, look, I'm going to actually yeah. go after these criminals. So we're starting to see the baby, baby steps. The question is, can it be maintained? Can the momentum keep up? Can you go after George Gascon? If he's recalled, I think that sends a huge message to everyone, from Larry Krasner to uh, Bragg here in Manhattan. It's saying, yeah, you've gone too far. And when you have the progressives basically making that point, especially in San Francisco, that is so significant. Yeah. I hope we continue down that path. This isn't inherently political, and it shouldn't be. It absolutely shouldn't be. No, it, we had a guest earlier on say that it's the pendulum swinging. Yep. Um, we had Rudy Giuliani in New York City being really hard on crime. The pendulum swung way too far in the other direction. Hopefully, we can start to see an evening out. Jason, like I said, thank you so much for joining us in absolutely. studio. No thank less. You. Great to see you. Good to see you. All right, as usual.